Welcome to the video tutorial series on modding simple planes. In this video, we'll be creating a very basic custom challenge. The goal of this challenge will be simple. Reach a certain altitude before the timer expires. I'm starting off here with a map that I created in a previous tutorial. The first thing I'm going to do, since I'm going to be writing some code and I'm going to be using Visual Studio, is I'm going to import my Visual Studio tools package. Okay, next I'm going to go to the Simple Planes menu, I'm going to go to Assets, and I'm going to say Create a Service Provider Script. I also want to go to Assets and Create a Level Script. This dialog is asking me for the script name. We're going to call it Fly High Level. The level name, Fly High. Description, reach 500 feet before the timer expires. The map name. This has got to match exactly with the map name that we used uh, for our custom map. I believe the name was My First Map. And we won't worry about the custom icon for now. Let's say OK. And we can see that our service provider script was created and our fly high level script was created. If I double click on this, I'll open it in Visual Studio. OK, here is the shell for our custom level. We see we have a new class here that is inheriting from jundru.simpleplanes.modtools.level. Uh, to the base class, we're passing the name of the level, the map for the level, the description, and the path to the custom icon. To create this level, we're going to be overriding a few properties and methods on the base class. Since we are taking advantage of the built-in timer, we're going to need to override a few properties there. We're going to say our timer is enabled. We want to start the timer with the throttle. And we'll give the player, let's say, 15 seconds to reach the target altitude. We're also going to want some code that formats the user score. So we'll override the format score method. And for scores, we're going to use the amount of time it took the user to reach the target altitude. Okay, we also want to run some code every frame to check for the win or lose conditions. So we're going to override the update method. Okay, until the user actually throttles up their plane, the timer's not going to start counting down. So we want to only check for win and loss conditions once the timer started. If the elapsed time is greater than our timer countdown time, that means they ran out of time. We're going to pause the timer and end the level. Pass a value of false to indicate the user lost. Give them a message and a score. Now we need to check to see if the user won. First of all, we need to pass a value of true to this pause to indicate that we are pausing the timer. Okay, we need a way to check the altitude of the aircraft. That service provider script we created earlier created this guy right here. This is a singleton that provides access to a Simple Planes mod service provider. A service provider provides a lot of API methods and interfaces for interacting with Simple Planes via code. Um, so back to our custom level. What we want to do is check the service provider, get the instance, look at the player aircraft interface, and get the altitude. This will provide us the current altitude of the aircraft. This is in meters, and we want to be greater than 500 feet. 
So that's 152.4. So if this is true, that means they have reached over 500 feet, which is the victory condition for the level. So we're going to pause the timer. And we're going to end the level. Pass the value true, indicating they won. Give them a message. And the score. For this, we're going to use the current time. Okay, I believe this should be all we need. We go back to Unity. The mod tools are going to automatically scan the assembly and find our level. So we can see Simple Planes levels here. Our fly high level is listed, so we should be good. We're going to save the mod. And now let's fire up the game. Here's our mod, we're going to enable it. And here under the mod levels category, we see the fly high level. We see our description, reach 500 feet before the timer expires. Let's play. Let's give it a shot with the P51. Okay, I've started the throttle, the timer's counting down. But we're going to run into some trees. Okay, timer reaches zero, we lose. Let's try this again with a different plane. All right, once again, timer's not running. We hit the throttle, the timer starts. And 500 feet, 7.3 seconds, we win. A few other quick notes before we wrap up. If we wanted to provide this level a custom icon, we could pass in the path here. If we wanted to use a different map, we'd specify the map name here. If we wanted to use the built-in default map, go to jundru.simpleplanes.modtools.mapnames.default. That'll tell the game to use the default map. Let's say we want to provide the player with a message whenever they first load in the map. We can override the awake method. And there's a method on the base class that we can call to show a message. Give it a message. And a lifetime of how long it'll last before it fades out. Say three seconds. That's pretty much the basics of creating custom levels for simple planes. Thanks for watching.